So you want to make money fast, right? Show me the money. All you have to do is sign up now and start selling these bars of soap. Then you sign up three people under you and they start selling bars of soap. Then each one of them signs up three people under them and they all start selling bars of soap. Next thing you know, you're rolling in cash. This isn't a pyramid scheme, but what I do have is a couple tips for you to make money fast while you're playing New World. And don't worry, these tips are going to help you out no matter what level you are. So get ready to start making some money and making it quick. So the way I broke it down was three different spots that I want you to check out that have high concentration of materials that you can harvest, mine, gather, whatever the case may be, that sell for a lot at the trading post. The first spot is just west of Windsor. There's actually three places that are really close to each other. Cooper's Ranch, Merrill's Place, and Moe's Farm. This area is great because each one of those spots is full of a bunch of different vegetables and things that you can harvest that sell for a good amount of money on the trading market, especially barley. You can get carrots, corn, cabbage, potatoes, barley, strawberries, a whole lot of different things that are super useful for cooking. All of these items are super easy to harvest. There's no level requirements to get them. All you need to keep in mind is that there's a roughly 15 minute timer from when you harvest them and from when they respawn. Keep some for yourself but throw some up on the trading market, you're gonna make a lot of money. Not to mention, it's very close to Windsward, so you can travel quick and easy. And also, there's two good fishing spots nearby. Fishing and all of the things that you get from fishing also sell really good on the market, which leads me to spot number two. Spot number two is also in Windsward, however, it's to the east of Windsward. There's two good fishing hotspots really close to each other, right off the rocks on the east side of Windsward. Fishing seems to be a little bit harder up to level than most of the trade skills, which is why I think most people avoid it. However, because most people avoid it, the people who do fish can sell fish and fish items for a good amount on the trade market. Delicate fish fillets, firm fish fillets, and fish oils, not to mention any rare items you catch while you're fishing, will sell for a good amount on a regular basis at the market. Shrimp soup, shrimp stew, shrimp salad, it's a saltwater area, so make sure you have your saltwater bait ready to go. This spot is also good because there's a few iron, gold, and silver veins nearby, which can be really good for leveling up your mining abilities. Also, there's a level 25 boss who's relatively easy to kill just north of these fishing spots. I would recommend checking him out because he's been known to drop a few legendary items. The third spot I want you to check out is right on the south border of Great Cleave. Now, this is gonna be for players who are at least, I would say, level 35 or higher, and also who have at least level 50 in mining skills. However, you can gather an item here that sells for good money now and is gonna sell for good money into the future as well. The reason this area is so good is because there's a very high concentration of life jewels. When you mine a life jewel, you get gleaming lodestones. You also get life moats. Gleaming lodestones sell for a really good amount of money right now because they're used to craft potions. And because they're used to craft consumables, that means they're gonna be good into the future as well. Consumables will always be worth money because of the PVP and and late game, you will always need potions. You're also gonna find a good amount of wolves in this area who you can get tender wolf loins from. Now, it's not a certainty that you're gonna get the tender wolf loins, so it's up to you whether you wanna farm these wolves or not, but if you do find tender wolf loins, they sell for a ton of money on the market. Also, if you're a high enough level, there's a boss in the center of all these life jewels who I would recommend trying to farm some legendary items from. Now, finally, I'll leave you with a few general tips that you should follow to try and maximize the amount of money that you can make. First, efficiency is key. The reason that I shared with you a couple spots in New World is because these are high density areas of items that can make you money. If you waste too much time running around trying to gather a specific item you're looking for, as opposed to gathering anything that's nearby, you're wasting a lot of time and time is money. Also, consider selling items in the correct towns. And what I mean by that is, just because your home base and where all your stuff is is in Everfall, it might not be smart to sell barley there. If there's only a tier two kitchen in Everfall, you might wanna consider bringing your barley to a different town that has a tier four kitchen. Why is that? In theory, more people are cooking where there's a tier four kitchen as opposed to where there's a tier two kitchen. I finish up the taters, I'm gonna go find my sweaters. <laughs> Come on, what? And lastly, as I said before in the video, potions and other consumables are always going to be in demand and the ingredients that you need to make those are always going to be in demand. There you go. There's a couple of my tips to start making some money in New World. 
Now all you gotta do is sign up now, start selling these bars of soap. Then, 